Hi everyone, my name is Mwichi Peter Ikechu. In this video, I will talk about noise risk assessment and its regulation. Firstly, I would like to differentiate between sound and noise. Sound is the form of energy that is transmitted by pressure vibration. The vibrating cause set air particles into vibration and generate pressure wave in the air. However, um, noise is an unpleasant and unwanted sound. When unwanted noise gets loud enough, it is unpleasant, it is distracting, it is tiring and stressful. Therefore, avoid noise. This scenario shows a noise assessment in the workplace. Noise exposure limit. It should be reviewed when there is change in machinery, equipment, process, control, measure, or operation. After one year from the date of previous identification, according to Regulation 2019 requirement, no employee should be exposed to noise greater than or equal to 85 decibel per 8 hours. Daily personal noise dose should be 50%. Maximum sound pressure level should be 150 dB at any time. The speed sound pressure level should be 140 dB to perform noise risk assessment. It should be performed by a noise risk assessor who is registered with the Director General of DOSH. Why noise risk assessment? It is important because Excess exposure to noise can cause loss of hearing. Engineering noise control can successfully eliminate or reduce the excess noise level. Effective control of noise in the workplace through proactive approach have obvious benefits for the employee in terms of better health and quality of life at present and in future. New mindset, it does not purely rely on personal hearing potato. Impact of noise. There are two major impacts of noise. They are temporary hearing loss and permanent hearing loss. In temporary hearing loss, hairline cells are flattened. Hearing returns after a short period away from noise. And in permanent hearing loss, there are permanent distortion or damage of cell of hair cell in the ear. It, and also hearing cannot be restored. However, Occupational Safety and Health Noise Exposure Regulation 2019 have provided law and guidelines to be followed at all workplace. They are measure the legal limit on noise exposure and not exceeded. Maintain and ensure the use of equipment you provide to control noise risk. Provide your employee with information, instruction, and training. Carry out health surveillance. Monitor worker hearing ability monthly or periodically. In summary, sound that is less or equal to 70 dB are generally considered safe, while any sound that is greater or equal to 85 dB is more likely to damage hearing over time. Hence, no employee shall be exposed to noise level exceeding 115 dB at any time. The 85 dB is adopted as a criteria for action and when it reach or exceeds, it is necessary to implement activity to reduce the risk of noise in due hearing loss. These are my references and links. Thank you for your attention.